Hello everyone and welcome to my lecture of introduction food biotechnology. In this lecture we will be discussing about food biotechnology and how this dynamic field progress with time in advancements and innovations in food biotechnology, food printing and food security. I am Dr. Afat Amin serving as associate professor at Dow College Biotechnology, Dow University of Health Sciences. At the end of the lecture, a student must be able to define what is food biotechnology and what is his, uh, its histological advancements. Where is the application and scope of food biotechnology uh, will also be covered uh, in this lecture. Food biotechnology is an umbrella term covering a vast variety of processes for use in living system such as plant, animals and microbes or any part of these microorganisms to develop new or improved food products. It includes to newer forms of food biotechnology that offer a faster or more precise means to develop food, food products. Food biotechnology is the application of technologies to enhance the yield and the quality of food products. Under its product definition, food biotechnology started many thousands of years ago when primitive man advanced from domestication of animals, planting of crops, and the use of microorganisms to make cheese, yogurt, bread, beers, and wine. Very early examples of food biotechnology dated back to around 10,500 years before when people began to save the best of their crops to use as seed for the next year. Around 6,000 years before the process of fermentation was discovered and the people started to use um, uh, lactic acid bacteria to make yogurt and molds to produce cheese. They also started to use a fermentation process for the production of vinegar, soy sauce and wine. Around um, 2,500 years before, Aztec um, harvested algae from marine sources and from lakes and they started to use them as um, sole food sources. In 1871, Louis Pasteur invented the process of pasteurization and he came to know that heating wine sufficiently to inactivate microorganism and prevent spoilage. He also came to know that this temperature is sufficient to kill the microorganism but it didn't affect the flavor of the wine. In 1884, the father of the genetic discovered or identified the hereditary factor in pea plants. He, all, he got Nobel Prize on his discovery. In 1962, um, planting of high wheat varieties um, began in Mexico that bring green revolution throughout the world and that was a big um, American economist um, Norman Barlow he contributed to the, this green revolution around the world and he got Nobel Prize um, on his this um, great work. In 1994 the first genetically engineered food product flower sour was um, uh, released and got approval from FDA. In 2000, um, the uh, first cloned cow, Susan um, Maisy, was uh, cloned and um, they yes, cloned. And in 2000, the golden rice genetically modified varieties um, were created. In 2002, in 2002, the research sequence of the researcher sequenced the DNA of the rice, the main food source the f for the two third of the world population. It is the first crop plant to have its genome decoded. Modern food biotechnology employs the tool of modern genetics to enhance beneficial traits of plants, animals, and microorganisms for food production. It involves adding or extracting selective gene to achieve desired traits. Modern food biotechnology is used to distinguish newer applications of biotechnology such as genetic engineering and cell fusion from more conventional methods such as breeding or fermentation. Food biotechnology certainly has a significant impact on the manufacture of food additives. A large market exists for specifically for the products produced through fermentation. 
fermentation is the process that releases energy from a sugar or other organic molecule during fermentation process microbial growth and metabolism result in the production of various uh, valuable uh, metabolites apart from beer wine bread um, vinegar yogurt cheese and these metabolites include enzymes vitamins and the microbial compounds that are forming agents amino acids glutamic acid organic acid flavor compound and food additives the applied approaches of food biotechnology resulted in a considerable increase in the production of vitamin b2 that is riboflavin it is water soluble yellow orange colored vitamin that is synthesized by plants and microorganism but it is not produced by higher animals it is an essential micronutrient for humans and must be obtained exogenously from food sources or supplements this this vitamin occurs naturally in peas beans grains yeast milk egg yolk and liver this vitamin was previously synthesized chemically for use in food and feed fortification and in small amount as coloring agent in food industry for example in ice cream making processing meat processing fish products sauces and soups but now it is being synthesized in higher amount through fermentation of bacillus subtilis and the crystal forms of this vitamins or pure form pure crystals of this vitamins are produced through fermentation of bacillus subtilis the implication of biotechnology includes breeding of plants for rising and stabilizing yields by improving their ability to confront various pests insects and other possible threats to various plants condition like dwarf and counter diseases that could attack the cold and soil acidity Biotechnology is also being applied for nutritional enhancement of various foods. Herbicide tolerance, tolerance to weeds of agriculture plants eliminates the environmental risk of using the traditional chemical herbicides. Using genetically modified technology to genes that code for phytotoxic compounds can be identified. isolate and modified by mutagenesis as they introduced into the plants cultivated to confer herbicide resistance in the interest of suitable food supply for the accelerated global population food biotechnology has emerged as a robust tool for upgrading and increasing food production and food processing in food processing sector biotechnology makes use of microorganism for the preservation of food and for the production of range of value added products such as enzymes flavor compounds microorganism microbial cultures and food ingredients so application of biotechnology for the enhanced production of production for food production and food quality different fermentation techniques have been used fermentation is an aerobic enzymatic conversion conversion of organic compounds especially carbohydrate to simple compounds such as organic acids and vitamins fermentation involves the action of enzymes and catalysts derived from microorganisms such as bacteria yeast and molds for chemical transformation of chemical complex into the substrates such as simpler biofunctional and nutritional compounds the use of recombinant dna technology has improved by processing through genetic modification of responsible microorganisms for the sake of more product that are of consumer benefit such as sauerkraut pickle miso tempeh natto and kimchi here a question arises that what are the pros conducting bacterial fermentation over chemical synthesis of industrially important compounds so can fermentation and bacterial fermentation processes can be a valuable alternative to conventional chemical synthesis particularly when the finished product contain a specific and complex stereochemistry fermentation has been functions such as adding new flavors and textures of to the food extending the shelf life of the food making some nutrients more easily absorbed by the body and providing an environment for the probiotic and growth and to diffuse 
the it limits the use of organic solvents and organic reagents and in turn reduced waste product generated during the synthesis process in addition it allows for rapid and stereospecific production of large quantities of its advanced intermediate organism converts raw ingredients into appealing food products with improved shelf life and protection both biochemically and organoleptically on the basis of text taste, texture, odor, or visual appearance. Furthermore, food microbiota of improved nutritional value, vitamins, fat acid, essential amino acids, and other properties of the food, digestibility, and pharmacological value through fermentation. As I told you earlier, fermentation is a metabolic process that some microorganisms use to break down um, glucose molecule and other sugar molecules when oxygen is not available. Fermentation is a way um, that some bacteria use to produce ATP to meet their energy requirements. Although uh, through fermentation, uh, the ATP levels are significantly lower than aerobic respiration, fermentation includes the metabolic pathway uh, glycolysis, where a single molecule of glucose is breaked down into two glucose molecules, uh, into two molecules of pyruvate, as well as additional fermentation reactions that produce a variety of end products that can be acid, alcohol, gases and the end, product of, um, end products are characteristic of individual bacterial species that can be uh, propionic acid, that can be acetic acid, that can be ethanol, that can be vinegar, wine or uh, etc. Enzymes are essential for the suitable growth and development of any form of the life on the planet and act as biocatalysts in a variety of metabolic and biochemical reactions. Enzymes have been used as food preservative for a long time. Nowadays, enzymes enable various food industries to improve the quality and stability of food products while improving production efficiency. The potential application of enzymes in the food industry include auxiliary extraction of nutrient compounds and improvement of construction, concentration, yield, stability and effective recovery, etc. The growing demand for suitable food have strengthened the power um, to develop microbial enzymes. Enzymes from microorganisms and produced with current biotechnological tools are unadulterated natural biological items and green food additive. It assumes a noteworthy job in an assortment of exceptional flour production and transformation. For example, it can enhance the baking quality, uh, nutritional quality, texture, um, resistance, and different element of flour items. Um, the significant catalyst um, applied to flour alteration are as follows. For example, a mileage enzyme make bread, bread volume expand loosen texture, accelerated the batter fermentation, enhances the bread, bread um, tissue structure, increments the softness of the inner um, organization, produces a decent and stable bread color, enhancement of uh, finance into the growing anti-aging um, enhancement, bread elasticity and taste. Protease enzyme um, um, has been used uh, for the meat tenderization process, baking and dairy products. Carnosin enzymes have been used uh, for long ages um, for cheese production as uh, and, um, coagulate, to coagulate the milk. Um, glucose uh, oxidase enzymes have been used in the baking industry as, stabil as it uh, stabilizes the dough. Catalase enzymes have been used in mayonnaise product for mayonnaise production as it removes hydrogen peroxide, uh, hydrogen peroxide, peroxide ions. The application of biotechnology in the food sciences has led to an increase in food production and enhanced the quality and safety of the food product. It plays a prospective role in various food processing sectors such as food and vegetable beverages, cereals, dairy, food, oils, and food, oils and fats, poultry, and, and confectionery. Using biotechnology approaches, Non-digestible and perishable food items can be transformed into safe, palatable food with an extended shelf life and with significantly improved quality of nutritional values, enhanced nutritional values, sensory and physiochemical attributes. Flour is the first genetically engineered tomatoes um, 
and the food product that was um, granted a license for human consumption. It was developed by the Californian company Fialchin in 1980s. The tomato has an improved shelf life increased with fungal, uh, increased fungal resistance and a slightly increased viscosity compared to the non-modified counterpart. It was meant to be harvested ripe for increased flower flavor for long distance shipping. The flowers are contained two genes. The first one um, is the reversed antisense polygalactouranase gene, which inhibits the production of the anti mentioned protein enzyme and a gene responsible for the resistance to aminoglycoside antibiotics, including canamycin and neumycin. Deficiencies of vitamin A, iron, and zinc affect over half of the world population. Progress has been made to control micronutrient deficiencies through supplementation and food fortification. But new approaches are needed, especially to reach rural population. Biofortification through enrichment of nutrient contributes of stable crops through plant breeding is one of the more uh, important options. Great approaches uh, and progress have been made over the past decade with respect to the application of food biotechnology to generate nutritionally improved food crops. Biofortified staple crops such as rice, maize, and wheat, uh, along with other crops such as sunflower, seed or sunflower seeds and potatoes, have been uh, generated, harboring special and essential uh, micronutrients to benefit the world poor and underdeveloped as well as uh, population, as well as new varieties of crops which have ability to, to combat chronic diseases have been established. Biotechnology, um, food biotechnology with nutritionally enhanced um, food product is currently a new major area of research that has already produced a few promising products. Um, as for example, cooking wells with unique fatty acid profile and less than 1% um, trans fatty acids have uh, and cons with higher concentration of amino acid. Uh, Certain oils and minerals um, um, ideal for human consumption have been developed in a research lab and um, are ready for uh, the field trial and human consumption. Worldwide, continuous demand for milk and milk products trigger different stakeholders in the dairy sector, which leads to the establishment of modern dairy farms processing companies and the in invention of artificial intelligence. The dairy industry benefit greatly from new advancement and innovation in modern food biotechnology such as recombinant DNA technology and improved bioprocessed engineering tools. While biotechnology brings incredible benefit, it also persuades a potential impact on health and environment. Therefore, its application uh, needs great in intentions. One of the most important innovation is the production of recombinant metrotropin hormone. The wine metrotropin hormone is a natural hormone secreted by cow's pituitary glands to increase the milk yield in lactating cow. However, the cost of purification was expensive and it needs to slaughter around 200 cows for providing wine metrotropin hormone to one cow for one day. This awkward, awkward situation finally was prepared down by recombinant DNA technology and the scientist inserted gene encoding bovine somatotropin in hormone. Now this hormone is obtained in higher quantity and this hormone results in 10 to 12% per, rise in milk production in cows. Food insecurity is currently among the most serious concerns for humans, causing the loss of countless lives in developing countries. With an ever-growing global population and rising food prices, the task of feeding the world is going to become more challenging and is just one reason for to capitalize on the benefits of biotechnology. Food biotechnology can help to meet the challenge use of biotechnology and food biotechnology especially can produce more food on less land by reducing the amount of crop loss to disease and pest. It can reduce carbon dioxide emission from the farming process, the amount of pesticide used to produce food, and in the future, the amount of water needed to grow crops. 
crops developed by genetic engineering can not only be used to enhance the yield of the product and nutritional quality but also to increase the tolerance to various biotic and abiotic stresses. At present, animals receive multiple injections of vaccines to maintain their health. However, this is much inconvenient and um, muscles, their muscles can be damaged because of the, uh, multiple dosage. However, recombinant DNA technology has a potential to get rid of this situation. Recombinant DNA food biotechnology derived plant based vaccines against transmissible GE virus um, vaccines are now um, under clinical trial that can protect from swine flu uh, in future. So here a very important uh, question come arise that why it is important for us being a Pakistani student to um, study and pursue food biotechnology as um, undergraduate uh, core course of undergraduate study program. The total world population will be reaching around 8 billion by the end of next year. If you are greater than 80% of the world population will be living in developing countries. Currently more than enough food is producing um, to feed all of the 8 billion people uh, currently living uh, on this planet. Yet after a decade um, of steady decline, hunger is back on, this, on the rise, affecting 10% of the global population. So after um, to an estimate uh, compiled by the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, by 2050, we will need to produce 60% more food to feed a world population. So huge gap in this area of biotechnology to learn, to research and work and execute um, in the area of food. Agriculture in Pakistan remains by far uh, the biggest uh, important sector from a social livelihood and foreign exchange perspective. Pakistan population growth and rate of urbanization is pressurizing the agriculture sector not only to increase the production but also to respond to the changes and diversity of food consumption pattern. About 25% of Pakistan total land area is under cultivation and uh, agriculture accounts for about total 25% of total Pakistan's GDP. Apart from that, Pakistan agriculture employers employs about 43% of the total labor force in Pakistan. Unfortunately, in current scenario, security of one's food supply in Pakistan is critical for those living in poverty. It is imperative to take on the issue on uh, tissue of increasing food production. According to estimates, food production must increase by at least 40% uh, until 2025 in order to meet the long-term demands of the 33% predicted increase in population. Pakistan agriculture faces significant difficulties in meeting the nation's food need as a result of population's growth, the irregular climate changes, and low crop, uh, crop production. A significant increase in agriculture output is essentially needed to ensure the nation's agriculture future. And, uh, and I think and the scientists think that food agriculture biotechnology is the potential solution of this alarming problem. With information on foods and safety becoming more accessible, consumers are now becoming more conscious of their lifestyle choices. The changing in eating habits of consumers have a um, huge impact on uh, the food biotechnology areas, especially um, in the area of food processing, fermentation and storage. The f those foods with high nutritional value and organic foods with, having chemi with no chemical uh, food additives are of the choice of um, consumers and, and, those, and these are the food products which are produced through for, um, food biotechnology fermentation. These are the dairy products, fruit juices, cereal products, products uh, produced in the brewing industry and food additives through ferment, produced through fermentation and protein products produced through fermentation. And Pakistan has a huge gap in uh, having these uh, biotechnologically produced products. So we have to work in this area and produce uh, and make Pakistan self-sufficient in this in the production of these uh, products. Pakistan is among the largest producer of horticulture products in the world. 
the fruits and vegetable sector is important direct and indirect contributor of growth and exports of pakistan pakistan ranked among top 10 countries in the world in terms of production consumption and export of high quality of fruits and vegetable all over pakistan huge fruits and uh, vegetables have uh, lost uh, every year due to improper harvesting handling lack of knowledge and of washing after um, harvesting uh, proper storage and serious exporting strategies in pakistan there is a dire need of well educated and specifically trained personnel in these areas not only to increase the yield but also to reduce the waste of fruits and veg- vegetable that produced um, for to uh, need the meat of hunger people Pakistan is the fourth largest milk producer in the whole world. Approximately 8% of the milk produced at a small scale in rural areas, 50% in uh, peri-urban areas, and only 5% of the milk is produced in urban areas. So the 18%, 80% of the milk that is produced in the rural areas uh, of the country, they do not have proper storage facility and handling of the milk is not proper. Due to this reason, a lot of the milk waste every year. that could generate valuable forest reserves for the pakistan so in every sector of the food and dairy industry a huge demand for educated and well trained personnel is highly required to sum up all this food biotechnology is an umbrella term covering a vast variety of processes for using living organisms such as plant animals and microorganism or any part of this organism to develop new or improved food products food is not only our most important food is not only our most important basic need but also the food industry is the largest industry in the world employing in all areas including growing harvesting processing transportation storage preparing fermentation inspection distribution sales and marketing in end i would like to thank the university of health sciences the college of biotechnology and you for your patience this patient listening thank you very much